Hey guys, it's Nick here, and I'm going to show you how to fix the master boot record in Windows 8 without using the Windows CD. So this is if you're having a computer problem where you can't boot up the system or, to, or you can't access your desktop or you're getting a boot error of any kind. This will uh, hopefully fix the uh, master boot record. Now this is not going to work every time. I mean, it could be a hardware problem that you're having. That's why you can't boot up. But if it's not, it might help fix the problem and uh, rebuild the master boot record up. All right, so it's worth a try. So uh, assuming you can't boot up the computer powered on. All right, so when you power it on, you get your Windows logo coming up like you can see here. What you want to do is you want to restart the computer again because you need it to, to get to the recovery console in Windows 8. You need to restart the computer while it's booting into Windows a few times and you'll get automatic repair coming up. So we're going to restart the computer again as soon as we see that logo. If the logo comes back, we're going to restart it once more. So here's the logo again. All right. Once again, I'm going to restart the computer. Alright, so if you do this right, you should be getting automatic repair. Alright, so hopefully you can get this to load, alright? And if you can get into automatic repair, you can have a chance at fixing the master boot record. We'll just let that load up. Alright, so you're going to come across the automatic repair screen now. And it's going to say that the computer couldn't start correctly. And then you're going to click advanced options. All right, you're going to click troubleshoot. All right, so you're going to click advanced options now. You're going to go into the command prompt here. You just select account on your computer and log into it. Click continue. Let that log in. When you get the command prompt open, what you're going to do is you're going to type in this. Alright, so type in boot rec dot exe space slash fixmbr. Like so, hit enter. And it will say the operation is completed successfully. Now reboot the computer and see if you can get into your desktop. Now this doesn't work all the time. If this doesn't work, you may want to reinstall Windows or try some of the other recovery options. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I hope this has helped you guys.